Star Trek alums Zachary Quinto and George Takei have joined the ranks of LGBT activists condemning Kevin Spacey's decision to come out as gay at the same time he apologized to Star Trek Discovery star Anthony Rapp, who accuses Spacey of making a sexual advance on him when he was 14. Spacey was criticized Sunday night by many, including columnist Dan Savage, actor Billy Eichner, and journalist Frank Rich, for linking two things that have nothing to do with each other. It is deeply sad and troubling that this is how Kevin Spacey has chosen to come out, Quinto wrote in a message posted on Twitter. Not by standing up is a point of pride, in the light of all his many awards and accomplishments, thus inspiring tens of thousands of struggling LGBTQ kids around the world. But as a calculated manipulation to deflect attention from the very serious accusation that he attempted to molest one. Also read Kevin Spacey's House of Cards Falls show's ending announced day after accusation I am sorry to hear of Anthony Rapp's experience and subsequent suffering, Quinto continued. And I am sorry that Kevin only saw fit to acknowledge his truth when he though it would serve him, just as his denial served him for so many years. May Anthony Rapp's voice be the one which is amplified here. Victims' voices are the ones that deserve to be heard. The timing of this announcement has raised some eyebrows, to be sure, George Takei wrote. The original Star Trek TV series star also made a longer statement to The Hollywood Reporter. When power is used in a non-consensual situation, it is a wrong, Takei said. For Anthony Rapp, he has had to live with the memory of this experience of decades ago. For Kevin Spacey, who claims not to remember the incident, he was the older, dominant one who had his way. Men who improperly harass or assault do not do so because they're gay or straight, that is a deflection. They do so because they have the power, and they chose to abuse it. Also read House of Cards spin-off and works amid Kevin Spacey's sexual misconduct accusation rep posed his accusations against Spacey in an interview with BuzzFeed published Sunday. He said in 1986, the then 26-year-old actor invited him to a party, laid him on his bed, then climbed on top of him and before making unwanted sexual advances until Rap was able to squirm away. I honestly do not remember the encounter, it would have been over 30 years ago, Spacey said in a message posted on Twitter. But if I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior, and I am sorry for the feelings he describes having carried with him all these years, Spacey wrote. Spacey then included his coming out announcement, after saying he knew there were stories out there about me and that some have been fueled by the fact that I have been so protective of my privacy. The day after Rep's allegations were made public and Spacey's apology issued, Netflix and show producer Media Right Capital announced House of Cards will come to an end after its upcoming sixth season. The companies said they are deeply troubled by last night's news concerning Kevin Spacey. Here are the tweets nope to Kevin Spacey's statement. Nope. There is no amount of drunk or closeted that excuses or explains away assaulting a 14-year-old child, Dan Savage at Fake a Dance of Age October 30, 2017. I'm sorry, Mr. Spacey, but your application to join the gay community at this time has been denied. Dan Savage at Fake a Dance of Age October 30, 2017. Bye bye, Spacey. Goodbye. It's your turn to cry. That's why we've got to say goodbye. R O S E A R M Y. Rose McGowan at Rose McGowan October 30, 2017. Dear fellow media, keep focus on Anthony Rapp. Be the victim's voice. Help us level the playing field. Rose McGowan at Rose McGowan October 30, 2017 That Kevin Spacey Statement Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. Billy Eichner at Billy Eichner October 30, 2017 Kevin Spacey has just invented something that has never existed before a bad time to come out. Billy Eichner at Billy Eichner October 30, 2017 But honestly I hesitate to make jokes because the Spacey Statement is truly disgusting, irresponsible and dangerous. Okay good night, Billy Eichner at Billy Eichner October 30, 2017 Being gay should never be equated with sexual assault or pedophilia. Thanks for giving the homophobes more ammo Kevin Spacey, Lance Bass at Lance Bass October 30, 2017.